Well, good evening, all you Trojan fans tonight. The Trojans have traveled over here to Halifax to take on those Halifax Wildcats in the biggest ball game of the second half for these two squads as they both come in here with identical four and one record. So somebody is going home tonight with a uh, second loss in the uh, Tri-Valley League, which is already jammed up with five teams featured at four and zero oh, or four and one. So. Uh, Big ball game coming up here tonight here as the Halifax Wildcats get ready to host our UDA Trojans. And we'll have the opening tip-off here following the introduction of the ball players. Then we'll be set to go with tonight's big, big TVL ball game. Back in just a moment. Well, we're set to go here at Halifax now as the Wildcats send out their starting squad. It'll be Wilbert out there along with Hain, Kalnan, uh, Kerstetter, and Troutman. UDA sending out... Uh, Lark, along with Papandria, Weaver, Drivelbis, and uh, Lucas tipping it off at center. She will be tipping it out there now as we get things going. M Myers, the other, uh, may not have, may have missed Myers for the opening ball game. Here's a pass underneath for two, no good. Rebound, a shot in the air, put up, missed by uh, Myers. Return shot up by Kalman, good for two. Autumn Kalman puts the first score on the board tonight. It's 2-0 uh, Halifax. Back comes Kelly Drivelbiss. Swing it over here for Lark. Kelly will have uh, a pass inside for Lucas and the ball thrown away, picked up in there by Troutman. Katie Troutman works it up for Wilbert and Miss Wilbert across the timeline. On the near wing over here, Troutman. Inside they go. Turnaround shot by Myers. In and out. Wouldn't stay down. A rebound comes down there to Lark. We'll drop it back, or to Papandria rather. He'll drop it back here now for Kelly Drivelbiss. Kelly taking it on the wing over here for uh, Weaver. Inside it goes Lucas. Back here, Weaver. Jen for three. A little bit off the mark that time. And a rebound comes down inside. Let's see. He's going to be out of bounds. They're going to say it was tipped out of there by UD. So Halifax will inbound the ball. Miss Wilbert coming back with it for Coach Bobo's Halifax Wildcats. Into the corner it goes. Now back across the court. Right underneath it comes, but the ball came loose and picked up in there by UDA. Back with it comes Kelly Drivelbiss looking for two. It's good. Kelly Drivelbiss has tied up the ball game. Two, two. And back comes Halifax now with Troutman on the wing. Into the corner it goes here for Myers and then back out for Troutman across the court. This is Wilbert with it. Now Troutman's got it. Dumps it right underneath on the baseline. They'll have to push it back outside. Looking for three. That's short. And out of bounds. It goes off the shot. So it'll be UD inbounding the ball. Three or 632 rather remaining here in the first quarter. All tied up 2-2. Two -two. Travelbiss works it up court for UDA. In there for Lucas. Oh, wanted to get Weaver cutting in, but uh, pass a little bit behind Jen that time. Looked like an excellent play, but Pass was a little behind Jen and they lost it away. Here's a ball tapped out of bounds. Kelly Dribovis getting a hand on that one for the Trojans. Kelly is that omnipresent ball player for Coach uh, Shadel. She just is all over the place and uh, always giving 150%. Counting from outside, an eight footer put up and in good. It is 4 2. Autumn Kalman has four. And UDA Dribovis has two. So. The girls during the scoring thus far in the opening going. Lucas back out, rival this over the wing over here. Shot from the side by Lark, good for two. Stacy Lark ties up the ball game, 4-4. Four, four. This is gonna be a tough one as both teams very evenly matched here. Pass underneath for Myers. Well, I'm sure Coach Shadle didn't like that one as Myers all alone there as she broke underneath and got a good pass and uh, gives her Wildcats a two point margin again, now six. For Halifax. Here's Lark. In the corner there for Weaver. Swinging it around out there. Now over in the other wing it goes. A Pandria with it. She'll bounce it inside here for Lucas. Lucas dropping it back outside. Lark for two more. It's good. Stacey Lark keeps the Trojans right in there. It's 6-6. Six, six. Five minutes remaining here in the first period. Tied at six. Katie pushes it inside. Now here for Troutman. Troutman. On the baseline, she goes with it for Myers. Myers back out for Troutman. Cross the court, it comes now. Inside, they go to Calvin. Turn around, eight-footer. It's good again. So, you're going to have to stop Autumn Calvin as she has all the points in the ballgame for Halifax. 
There's a ball rolling loose in here, and Dribblebiss will pick it up. Swings it inside here for Lucas. Lucas wants to take it up, but a foul's called. Katie Troutman will pick up the first foul of the ball game. It'll be none shooting, I believe. And that's going to let UDA inbound the ball. 4.34 left here in the first period. Trojans trailing by two. Weaver checks out of the ball game and then time called as a Herb had checked in for UDA. But timeout called by Halifax, and uh, we'll be right back. It's a 20-second timeout. Okay, timeout is over. It was a quick one, and Kelly Dribovis inbounds here for Lucas. Back here for Dribovis. Dribovis takes it into the paint, pushes it over in the wing over there, and Papandria couldn't hang on to that. As uh, JJ, I think they call her J.A., Julianne, I guess it's J.A., Papandria, whatever. She couldn't hang on to that one, and so they turn it over. Wilbert down court for Halifax. Into the baseline there for, My uh, for uh, Hain. Now across the court, it comes right inside for Myers for two. Myers for two, and it's a 10-6 ball game for 10 remaining here in the first quarter. Shot from the side by Papandry, a little bit long, and out of bounds it goes. It's going to go off Halifax. They rule. It looked like uh, Mark might have gotten the last hand on that, but they're going to rule it went out of bounds off Halifax, and so Travobis will inbound the ball for UD. Say back, see how she plays this inbounds pass right here for uh, Herb. Now Dribovis with it back again. She has Lark over there at the top with her. And Lark over on the left side now. Right there for Papandria. Papandria out in front here for Lucas. She had some trouble with it. Picked up in there by Halifax. And back with it comes uh, Wilbert. Wilbert over here for Troutman. Troutman in the baseline there. They bounce it inside, trying to go to Kalman. She's got it, pops it up and in good for two. And it's 12 6 Halifax with 335 left here in the first period. They've doubled up the Trojans. Here comes Kelly Dribovis right down the paint, looking for two. It's good. A good drive by that Kelly D. And it's a 12 8 ball game. Wilbert here for Troutman. Troutman inside, they go with it. Turnaround shot by Kalman. Wouldn't go that time, and a rebound comes down the Lark. She'll pick it up and spin it back over here now for Herb. And Jess will give it back for Dribovis. Kelly, Herb, and Dribovis playing with it. Inside for Lucas. Back outside. Here comes Kelly Dribovis trying to put it up, but nope. Nice drive and a foul call as Lark will go to the foul line for UDA, and she'll be shooting two, I believe. Foul was on Kalman, her first. And uh, Stacy Lark at the line shooting up her first one. It's good. It is a 12-9 ball game now with 2.51 left here in the first period. As uh, Lanker, number 15, enters the ball game. She will replace uh, Lucas, and, and there also is uh, Weaver back in, I believe, or maybe, no, I guess uh, Man uh, Amanda Lucas was the only one that went out. Anyway, in the meantime, back with it comes uh, Haynes over there for a pass here for Wilbert. Top of the circle, going across, they go with it now for Haynes. Back out here for Troutman, Wilbert, Troutman. Inside it goes on a pass for Haynes for two, it's, or for... Uh, Myers, it's good. Now they threaded that one in there pretty nicely. That was a nice play, and they got it underneath very nicely for Myers. Ball comes loose, picked up inside there by um, Halifax as Wilbert works it back up court. Wilbert, near wing over here for Troutman. Inside they go to Kalman, back here for Wilbert. Wilbert from outside for three, in and out. Wouldn't go down, rebound, tipped around and controlled here by Dribovis. Kelly with a head of steam, coming back with it, stopping. Dropping it outside here. Lark for two. It, oh, I thought it was good. Look good. Nice pass inside for Papandria. Nice pass from that. Kelly drive abyss for Papandria. The Trojan uh, trail by two. Back with it comes Katie Troutman. Katie inside with a pass intended for Kalman. Picked up by the Trojans, and they can tie the ball game up here with a bucket. Here's a nice pass right underneath there. Lanker for two. It's good, and we're tied. Blanker for two, and this game is tied up at 14 all. Trojans had trailed by six at one time. Pass over here for Kalman for two more. It's good. Nice bounce pass from Hain to Autumn Kalman, and she put it home. 16 14, Halifax by two. Minute 17 remaining here in the first quarter. Tight, tight ball game. Now, 
Trojans looking good coming back that time. Clark playing it over the wing here for Weaver. Out in front, Stravobis with it. Go on the left side, Dra or, uh, Papandria. And now Kelly Dribovis will try to take it in, and a walk might be called, or a hold. No, they're going to call a hold foul. It's going to be called on Autumn Cowman, and that'll be her second of the opening period. As a matter of fact, Autumn's got uh, two out of the three fouls that Halifax has. So with 57 seconds remaining here in the first quarter, Papandria checking out for UD as... Uh, Herb comes back in there for Albert Offen, and now Kalnan will check out for Coach Ozenbach as in there to replace her is that number 40, Schaffenhausen. They work it out in front. Trojans again with a chance to take the lead. Here's Herb for two. It's good, and we're tie. Or tie, I mean, 16-16. And UD putting some four-court pressure on now as... Uh, Foul is going to be called on Kelly Dribovis. Kelly reached in to uh, Kerstetter, who was in the ball game, number 15, and she picks up the first personal foul of the ball game for for uh, Kelly Dribovis. First foul of the game for UD. Wilbert over in the wing there for try uh, for Kerstetter, and then Wilbert again going over this way for Troutman. Troutman, inside they'll go. Back out, here it comes. Now over the wing. Kerstetter, outside. This is looking for three. That's short. Rebound comes back here, and a collision. And they're going to call a push foul on who? Wow. That could have been on Kelly Dribovis, but it is. It's her second. It is. So Kelly Dribovis, who would pick up her second personal foul here with 15 seconds left in the first quarter. That was a hard call to make right there where she and uh, Katie Traubman both collided and they called Kelly for the foul. Here's Katie looking for two. It's long. Rebounded over there by Lark. And on the tie-up, it's going to stay UD ball with 30 or 1.3 seconds, rather. 1.3 seconds remaining here in the first period. And that's going to do it as the quarter comes to an end. But... It doesn't get any closer than this. It is 16-16 at the end of one. Well, a tie ball game begins the second period now with Halifax the advantage of inbounding. As Wilbert will bounce it over here for Troutman. Back for Wilbert. Wilbert for three. It's good. Wilbert then fell backwards or whatever. But anyway, it's 19-16. to 16. Halifax by three. Here's... Shot from the wing over there for two. Oh, just off the mark. Rebound. Let's see. Tipped around inside. Controlled by uh, Autumn Kalman back here for Troutman. Katie bringing it up court. Swinging it over here in the wing. Shot by Wilbert again for three. No good. Return shot underneath. Good. And that was by 15 curse setter, I believe. All of a sudden, Halifax has reopened a five-point wound here on the Trojans. Shot from the side. But Weaver for three. Wouldn't stay down. Goes in and out. Controlled in there by Myers, who will pick it off and drop it back here now as Troutman heads up court with it. Right there's a pass underneath for two more by uh, Myers. And all of a sudden, the Trojans trail now by eight. 23-16 with a minute to play. They have just piled on eight unanswered points in one minute here in the second period. 22nd timeout is over, and uh, UD playing the ball back in here now. Inside for Lucas, dumping it back outside. Here's Lark for two, it is good. Kelly Lark, or uh, Stacy Lark, it's that one that stay down there. Pass ahead here now, comes down to uh, Kerstetter, who'll drop it back now for Troutman. 23-18, we'll show you the clock of the next uh, time we got a chance, a three-pointer by Wilbert. And that's what happens sometimes now as these kids get playing way outside their game. Maybe I'm not sure Wilbur's a big three-point scorer, but you just hit another one there. Inside pass here, knocked away by Troutman as uh, Papandria wanted to go up for that one and had it stripped out of there by Katie Troutman. Wilbert's got it, pushing it over in a wing over there for Kerstetter. Now Wilbert playing it out in front. She'll drop it here for Katie Troutman. Loops it inside here for Kalman. Kalman for two more. Wouldn't go. Rebound. Let's see. Controlled in here by 
Lark and back comes Papandria. So the Trojans dodged a bullet there. It's Pap or uh, Travelbis rather goes all the way for two. Way to go, Kelly D. 26 20. Pass down there for, uh, well, let's see, Myers right underneath it goes here. Here's Kalman for two. No good. Rebound uh, controlled over there by Travelbis and Kelly coming up can get the Trojans back to within four. Pass on the wing over here for Weaver. Inside they go for Lucas. Back to Weaver. Weaver for two. Long, a little bit. And on the rebound, let's see, we've got a foul called underneath. I'm not sure on whom, but uh, foul, let's see, is on number 23. That would be Myers of Halifax, her first. Team's fourth. From the side for two. No good. Rebounded in here by uh, Troutman and Katie. We'll push it over here for that Wilbert gal. And back comes Halifax. 5-10 left here in the first half. Inside they'll go. Kalman with an eight-foot try. No good. Rebound. Let's see. Comes right outside here and Halifax has got it. Wilbert for three more. You've got to be kidding. You've got to be kidding. Wilbert for three more. It's now 29-20 with 4.53 left here in the first half. Halifax by nine. Here's Papandria having a little trouble with it, but she's got it inside here for Lucas. Now back out here for Julianne. Shot for two, a little long. Rebound comes down over here. It's going to be controlled by Weaver. Weaver with a shot, no good. Papandria return shot. Wouldn't go, and a rebound finally controlled in there by Kalman as the Trojans had three shots at it that time and couldn't get anything to go down. There's Wilbert, who was hot from 24 feet out for Troutman. Wilbert again, and back over here for Troutman. Inside, they'll go with it. Kalman with a turnaround shot short. Return shot put up and in by Kerstetter again. It's 31-20 as back comes UDA. Here comes a pass outside here. Weaver for three. Get in there. Okay, two. All right, two. They gave Jen two. 31-22, margin at nine. Wilbert and Troutman playing with it, but time running down here. They got to get up before 10 seconds. Yep, just made it. As they try to take it inside, but the ball blocked away, picked up in there by Lark, and back comes UDA. Trojans need a bucket this time down here as Dravobis wings it over there. Now inside they go to Lucas, back here for Dravobis, near side for two. No good. Rebounded right inside there by. Uh, Weaver, but then Jen lost the handle on it, but she followed the shot very nicely, but then couldn't quite control it as uh, we've got 31-22 with 3.33 exactly remaining here in the first half. And uh, Lenker into the ball game for UDA. She is replacing uh, Papandria. 3.20 remaining in the half. Payne gets off the bench for Coach Shadle. She'll be coming into the ball game at the next whistle. As Troutman will control the ball out in front. Three minutes and five seconds left here now in the first half. Halifax trying to set it up. And they go right inside here. And the uh, shot put up by number 25 is no good, but she's fouled. And we'll pick up that young lady's name as she'll go to the foul line shooting two. Foul was on Weaver, her first, and uh, Kiefer at the line. Aaron Kiefer, I think it is, at the line shooting two. And Kiefer's first shot is no good. Weaver and Lucas check out of the ball game as Herb and Papandria back in there for UDA. Second shot by Kiefer is no good. She missed a pair. Rebounded inside there to Kalman. She tries to put a shot up. It is no good. Rebound comes down there and is fought for by UD. And let's see. It's going to be picked up here by... Uh, Kelly Dravovis as Kelly will take it up court for UDA. Cross court, it goes there for Lark, or for uh, hey, uh, Lanker, rather. Her shot wouldn't go. Lark battling for it, but it's picked up over here by Troutman, and Katie will control it ahead off the hands of, of Halifax and picked up in there by Kelly Dravovis. 31 22. Kelly Dravovis going to take it inside, pushing it over here in the wing. Shot from the side for two by Papandria wouldn't go, and the ball's going to be knocked out of bounds. Off UDA as uh, 25 Kiefer saved it inbounds, but saved it right off the leg of uh, Lanker, I think it was, and uh, knocked it out of there. Here comes Kiefer trying to go inside. Ball tapped away on the floor. It goes picked up in here by Lanker, and Lanker is nearly run over out there, but 
Not quite, and back comes uh, Tribal Vist with 2.05 left here in the first half. Kelly over there on the wing. The ball came loose, and it's going to be picked up in here by uh, UD, but then stolen, uh, stolen back by, but then stolen back by Halifax as Hain ties it up. So a lot of fussing and a scrapping going on inside in this one. Minute 52 remaining here in the first half. And uh, Tribal Vist inbounding it for Herb. Across the court, it comes here for Lanker. Off her fingertips and out of bounds. It looks like it might go out of bounds off Herb. And that's exactly how they ruled it. So she couldn't quite hang on to that one. And uh, inbounds comes the ball here now as Wilbert will fire it down here for uh, Hain. Hain dropping it over there for Wilbert. And Wilbert has Hain on the right side. She has Troutman on the left side. And here's Katie with it. And again, Halifax will slow things down. Minute and a half remaining here in the first half. Over in the corner it goes. Now, the Halifax Wildcats are sneaky like that, though. They wait and then either Calnon or, uh, in this case, it would be, um, here's Wilbert throwing one up from outside. That one wouldn't go. Rebounded in there to uh, Herb, and then back with it comes Kelly Dravovis. Here comes Kelly with it. Nice pass underneath. Intended for Lucas. Turn around, shot. No good. Rebound tipped around, and let's see. Lucas has it. Tries a 12-footer. Wouldn't go. Blocked away by Callan. Shot from the outside for two is good. That is Weaver, Jen Weaver, hitting two. 24-31. Ball stolen away, an inbound pass, and they're going to let uh, Kelly, the crowd here, wanted to walk as Kelly Dravovis took a two-step shot for that one. But it was not called, and uh, the bucket was good. So it's 31-26, five points differential now. And UD getting much more aggressive in here as this ball is inbounded back here now and came loose from Myers. Back out here for Calnon. Calnon will drop it over here for Wilbert. Wilbert goes across the court with it, attempting to hit Hain with it, but it's stolen away, controlled in there by Dravovis. And back come to Kelly as the Trojans make the move again. Kelly Dravovis picking up the ball, bringing it inside here for Lucas. Over the wing it goes. Dravovis uh, with a two long two-pointer, no good. And a rebound on the floor, tied up in there as Weaver and Troutman tie it up. Got 17 seconds remaining here, 16.8 for all you purists. Halifax with a five-point margin as the ball comes down here. Across the court it goes now for Hain. Hain will pick it up back here for Wilbert. Can't let Wilbert shoot a three. Clock down to 10 seconds. They'll get it to Wilbert. She'll pull one up. You can bet it if she can. Here's Wilbert with it. Clock down to four seconds. Inside it goes. Now back out. Here's Wilbert. Long three attempt. That's going to be way short. And that's going to end the first half. Well, we've got a pretty darn close knit ball game here at the end of one half of the game. It's Halifax 31. UDA 26, five point difference. We'll be back with the second half in just one moment. Well, as you can see, the ball clubs are back on the court now, ready to do battle here in the second half of this all important basketball game. The Trojans trailing by five here at halftime, and it looks as though Halifax will have the ball to inbound as we get, or no, it'll be Upper Dolphin inbounding the ball as we get. The second half underway here. Kelly Dribovis will take the inbound pass from Stacy Lark. It's uh, Papandria, Weaver, and uh, Lucas in there along with Lark and Dribovis for UD. Inside Lucas. Amanda pushing it back outside here. Lark will walk with it that time as Stacy took that little step that time that some of these gals and guys uh, will do from time to time, and it just well, it looks uh, good to the ball player, but to the official, they say, no, that's a walk. Here's Myers looping in ahead here now for Troutman. Troutman with a head of steam down to the top of the uh, foul line, and then she'll pass it right away here as Lark picks it off. Stacy coming back with it, dropping it underneath. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to be ruled out of bounds off of uh, Hain, number 33. Hain in there along with Troutman, Myers, Calnon, and uh, Wilbert. Here's a ball tied up underneath. They roll it loose, picked up over there by Pepe, or by Lark. Wouldn't go. Kalman with the rebound back here for Wilbert. Wilbert, quick pass ahead here, and a shot put up. And out of bounds, it is blocked by UD. So that means uh, Halifax will inbound the basketball. Troutman getting ready to inbound it. 
Here for Myers. Myers off the glass for two. No good. Rebound comes right down here to UD, but they lose it. Calhoun picks it back off, and back up comes Wilbur with it over there for Troutman. Katie picks up the dribble, gets it out in front here now for Myers. Myers with Lucas on, or with uh, Papandria on her rather, gets it back out for uh, pass over the wing to Troutman. Katie. Jumping right inside for Kalman for two. So Katie Trauber with a nice bounce pass inside for that uh, Autumn Kalman, and she's got two more. 33 26, uh, Halifax. Travel Viss over there for Lark into the corner for Papandria. Back out for Lark. Now inside to Lucas. Ball tap loose. Lavanda picks it up. 15 foot try. Good! Amanda Lucas from about 16 feet out puts that one up and in nicely for UDA. In the meantime, here comes Wilbert up court with it for Halifax. Lark on her. Here's that Haynes gal. Haynes bounce pass underneath for Myers for two. It's good. Well, they had Myers running right along the baseline, and Haynes knew it, and Myers picked off that nice bounce pass from Haynes and put it home. 35-28, 6-10 left here in the third. It's a drive on the baseline. Now push it back outside for two. That's just a little bit long. Rebound comes down on this wing and is going to be controlled by Weaver back outside here. Now inside they go with it. The ball is loose. And fought for over there. Let's see. Picked up by Lark. Inside for Lucas. Amanda will spin it back outside. Now over in the wing. Shot from over there by Lark for two is good. Stacy Lark gets two more. It's 35 30. Trojans still trail by five, but uh, looking better here as. Wilbert brings it up court for Halifax. Here's Wilbert stopping and looping it inside, but the ball comes loose and a foul will be called on Haynes in there. And, or rather on uh, Myers, rather. Make that Myers, I think. Yeah, it's on Myers. 5.31 left here in the third. Myers picks up her second personal foul. Halifax drops back into a zone defense as the Trojans bring the ball up. Travel this. Near wing over here for Weaver. Kelly Dravovis looking for something to happen on the right side this time. They'll shove it in there for Papandria and then back out it comes. They want to drive it in and that's what Dravovis wanted to do. Then a shot put up by Lucas wouldn't go. Return shot put up by Lucas is good. First shot, uh, not Lucas, rather uh, we Weaver. And then Amanda put the shot up and in. Here they come flying up court. The ball loose. And let's see, underneath it goes, picked up in here by Lucas. She is double teamed, and then they're going to let it come up court now as the Trojans have it. The Trojans can get to within one here if we can get a bucket now. Drive of this over in the right wing, out in front here. Now they'll swing it near side. Inside it goes, and a foul, no, three second violation called on UDA. Now we got 433 left here in the. First uh, or third period. Wilbert breaks her way up court, more or less with the basketball. <laughs> Stopping, shooting one out from it. 12 feet out, no good. And Papandria with the rebound. Back here for Drive Abyss. Inside it goes Lucas for two. It's good. So Amanda Lucas gets the Trojans back to within one. It's 35 34. And then a hold foul will be called on J.A. Papandria, I believe. Or was it on? No, I think it was on Weaver. We'll see. Foul was on Jen Weaver, her second. As the ball comes back up court now. This is Wilbert pushing it down here for Hain. And Wilbert out in front. Four minutes remaining here in the third quarter. Trojans trailing by one, 35 34. Here's Wilbert. She can shoot a three now and then. That was one of those now ones. Wilbert loaded it up. You can see that one coming. The Trojans gave her a little bit of room, and that's her fourth three-point bucket of the ball game. We've got 340 left here in the third. Well, they'll control it out here now as uh, Dravovis spins it inside for Lucas over the wing. Back out. Dravovis, he'll want three. Just off the front, no good. But Kelly follows in the rebound, and it gets tied up inside there, and another tie up underneath, and Trojans still controlling, but... These officials are letting these guys play underneath, I'll tell you. Here's Lucas stepping up, 16-foot try off the glass. No good. Rebounded in there to Hain, who will drop it back here for Troutman now with 3.10 left in the third. Halifax by 4, 
Kalman with a turnaround 12 footer no good rebound let's see out of bounds it goes off the Trojans as Kelly Dravovis couldn't quite hang on to that one so into the ball game comes Herb for Weaver and also uh, Kerstetter into the ball game to replace Hain for Halifax. Kerstetter for three it's good she just comes into the ball game and pops in a three for Miss Kerstetter. It is 41 34 with 250 remaining in the third. Here's Lucas pushing it over in the wing for Papandria. She'll try to go underneath with it, but it goes out of bounds off Autumn Kalman's leg, I believe it was. And so Dribovis will inbound the ball for UDA. Right inside Lucas for two, a little high off the glass that time for Amanda. And the rebound comes down there to Kerstetter. He'll drop it back for Katie Trauma. 235 remaining in the third. Here's Kerstetter trying to force one up. It's stolen away. Dribovis will pick it off for UDA and back with it she comes with a rush. Kelly pushing it underneath there and then out of bounds it goes off Lark. As Stacy couldn't control that pass and uh, had it go off her and out of bounds. Lenker checks into the ball game to replace Amanda Lucas for Coach Shadel. As you are uh, Halifax inbounds the ball. Up with it comes Wilbert. Wilbert trying to work it up. Kelly Dribovis on her. Bounces it over there for Troutman. Troutman with a bounce pass underneath and then hold everything. We're going to get a hold foul called on UDA underneath. Foul is going to be on uh, Upper Dolphins number 23, Lark. Lark will pick up her first. And Autumn Kalnon will be going to the line shooting two for Halifax. First shot, no good. Second shot by Autumn is also no good. The rebound controlled in there, however, by Katie Traubin, and Katie gets the rebound and puts it up for two. Well, back comes UD now, trailing by uh, nine, right underneath, oh, underneath it went, and it was a nice pass inside there for Lanker, but uh, Lanker will check back out now as Lucas back in there for UDA. 43-34, Trojans missed an opportunity right there as the inbounds pass is kicked out of there. Got 158 left here in the third period. The numbers are the same except they're reversed. 4-3 versus 3-4. Here's Katie Troutman trying to come up court with it with Papandria or a Lark after her, but she bounces it inside with a shot for Kalman for two. A nice bounce pass again. This time by Katie Troutman to Autumn Kalnan, and she's got two, and timeout's going to be called by Coach Shadle because things are getting unglued here a little bit for UDA, and uh, they're going to call a full timeout. Got a minute 41 remaining here in the third. The Trojans trailing by 11, but they'll be back. Trojan timeout is over. Trojans inbound the basketball at midcourt here as, as uh, Dribovis has it. Over the wing over there, they'll sink it in deep for Weaver and then back out for Lark. Swinging it all around the perimeter here. Now right inside, but it's stolen away. Katie Troutman, and she gets tripped up inside and picked up in here by Lark. Lark, over the wing it goes. Here's a shot put up by Dribovis Winko. Kelly has her own rebound, tries to go inside with it. That's tapped loose. And back outside it comes where Dribovis will control it for a UDA. Over here for Herb. Herb with it. For Kelly Dribovis. Kelly will take it down the paint. Bounces it on the baseline. Shot from underneath and a foul called. Foul might be on Myers. If it is, it'll be her second or third. And that's going to allow Jen Weaver to go to the line for UDA shooting two. Myers picks up the foul, her third. And Weaver at the line to shoot two. Here's Jen's first try. It is good. Myers checks out of the ball gun. Schaffenhausen in there again for Halifax as Jen Weaver goes to put her second shot up and in. And she did. Two nice foul shots by that number 12 out there. Jen Weaver. Cuts the margin to nine now. It's 45-36 uh, as uh, Katie Troutman gets ready to bring it across the timeline. She did so. Lark guarding on her. Over in a wing it goes there for that uh, Wilbert gal. Wilbert. Tries to go inside. Blocked away by Amanda Lucas. She's held, but then Amanda gets breaking back. Pushes it over in the wing over there for a shot from outside by Dribovis. Wouldn't go. Rebounded in here to Wilbert. 
A UDA missed a chance again here now as they made the good block and didn't quite get that one set up enough to get something to go in. So Wilbert will pick up the dribble over there for Troutman. Troutman, top of the circle, looping underneath there for Kalman for two. It's good. Well, Kalman got in there with, uh, and she's pretty tall, and she shot that one over a couple of Trojans and makes it a 47-36 ball game with 10 seconds remaining here in third. For three, that's off the mark. Rebound, let's see. Picked up inside there by Kalman. She'll drop it back here now as there's four or three seconds. Uh, they're going to fire this one up. That won't get anywhere near the bucket as it's picked off. But Halifax with an 11-point margin now. The Trojans had been behind by that much before, but can we come back? We'll find out. It's 47-36 with eight minutes to play. Well, now it'll be Halifax inbounding the ball for the fourth and final period here at Halifax tonight as uh, Hain wants to inbound it and does so here for Wilbert. And Wilbert takes it across the timeline, dribbles it inside, puts a shot up, blocked away nicely by Dribovis, and then Kelly will steal it back. Kelly coming up court with a quick pass ahead here now for, hey, for uh, Herb, and then Herb walked with it. Jess wasn't in control of her body that time as the pass came up to her and kind of knocked her off balance and a walk called. So you need just goofing up now. That would have been just another chance, not uh, anyone's fault, but just couldn't handle it and back with it comes Wilbert for Halifax. In the corner it goes. Now inside they'll go with it for Kalman. She wants to dish it out here for Haynes. Haynes works herself loose or for, uh, uh, not Haynes, I beg your pardon, for Myers. Myers worked herself loose and put that one in. 49-36, 13 point margin now for the Wildcats. As they're three or four and one. Here's a ball stolen away and then out of bounds it's gonna go. They're gonna rule that went out of bounds off UD, so Halifax will inbound the ball. Wildcats believe in themselves uh, also, as do our Trojans, and they now are a... Uh... Wait a minute, what happened here? They're going to call a jump. They don't know who knocked that one out of there. No, they're going to say it belongs to UDA on the tie-up. 7-14 left here in the ball game, 49-36. And Kelly Dribovis will inbound the ball. You take away four of those threes from Wilbert, and this is a close ball game. And they're a high percentage shot. Here's a shot from outside for two by uh, Weaver. Uh, Jen sunk that one up nice, about a 19-footer. And up court with it comes Wilbert for Halifax. With Kelly Dribovis on her here for Hain. Hain on the baseline, picking up the dribble back out here for Wilbert. And Wilbert will walk with it as she did one of those maneuvers that these guys do not end and didn't get the pass off right. She'll check out of the ball game now as uh, number 14 Siders into the ball game for Halifax. Siders in there, number 14. Tribal Biss over the wing for Herb. And Kelly Tribal Biss has got it back again. Now Herb's got it back again. Here for Kelly. Ooh, I thought Kelly was stepping up to shoot that. Instead, Herb shoots it, but it's a little short. Rebounded in there to Kalman, looping it over there for uh, Troutman. Katie Troutman trying to go down the left wing with it. We'll pick up the dribble out in front now as she'll control it out there. And a pass out of bounds off the foot of Kelly Dribovis. So we've got 622 left here. in this one, Trojans trailing by 11 and uh, Halifax with the ball. Hain inbounding over there for that uh, Siders. She loop it inside here for Kalman. She's got the ball, puts a shot up and in good. So Adam Kalman fought her way up and underneath the basket that time as she was guarded in there, but was able to strongly get it up as they'll pass it over in the wing now. 51-38. Here's Dribovis inside for a shot from the outside for two is good. That is that Jess Herb hitting one for two. 51-40. I still think UD's coming back in this one as uh, Siders will drop it back here now for Troutman. Troutman takes it over in the wing, looping it inside here, and a shot put up, no good. Rebounded in there to uh, Herb, and Herb will drop it back now for Drive Abyss. Trojans with a chance to come back and get it again to within single digits. Nice pass inside for Weaver. Her shot wouldn't go, but she's fouled, and Jen will go to the line, is shooting a two. Foul was on Katie um, Troutman, her second. 
In the meantime, Jen Weaver missed her first uh, foul shot attempt here. Lucas back out of the ball game for Stacy Lark now for UDA. Second shot by Jen Weaver is no good. The rebound comes down over here to Myers, and she'll push it over there for Troutman. Katie coming up court with it. We'll have uh, five minutes, 20 seconds remaining here in the ball game. Looping it underneath here, but picked off in there by uh, Weaver it was, and back with it comes UD. Now the Trojans again can narrow the gap to nine. Here comes Drivelbis, pushing right underneath on the pass and a block inside by Kalanon as Weaver tried to get it underneath and couldn't, and back with it comes uh, uh, the ball, but stolen away nicely in there by Papandria. Ahead comes uh, Hain, or uh, um, Drivelbis out in front, over there for a shot by Herb. No good. Rebound on the far side. Herb will chase it, chase it down. Spins it back inside here nicely for Weaver. Then she tries to go underneath with it, but it's picked off by Myers, who gives it back to Troutman. And Troutman coming up court with it for Halifax Wildcats. And the Wildcats take it over in the left wing. Katie going to take it all the way inside. Tries to go underneath with it. The ball came loose again. So two times in a row, they, we've had some terrible passing up here by the Wildcats. And the Trojans now see if we can't get down here and pick something up. There was a foul called underneath. The foul was on number 43, Kalnon. That is her fourth, I believe, third. Kalnon picks up her third personal foul with 425 remaining in this ballgame. So what UDA does now, they've got to concentrate on doing quickly. Here's Lark from outside for two. That wouldn't go. And on the rebound, controlled over there by Katie Troutman, who makes a good, strong rebound of that one. And back with it comes Wilbert. Wilbert trying to go inside. No. Pushes it over here for Kalman. Her shot, no good. Rebounded in there to Kelly Drivelbis. Drivelbis with a head of steam coming down the court. Pushes it over to wing and timeout. Oh, I thought they were calling time. No, I guess not. Here is Kelly Drivelbis. Near side, they'll come with it for Lark. Stacy steps up for two. No good. We've got Cyril. Well, went after a rebound, and Wilbur picked it off. And then we've got timeout called by Coach Ozenbach with 3.46 left in the ballgame, and the Trojans still trailing by 11. It's 51-40 Halifax. Halifax with the ball to inbound now with 3.46 left in this one. They'll loop it ahead here now for uh, Troutman, and Katie will get it across the timeline with Weaver out here after her, and Katie's still in control with it, goes all the way underneath with it, puts a shot up, no good. Return shot put up by Kalman is good. Uh, Autumn Kalman with two more. She's got a bunch of points in this, half of them in this ball game, probably belong to her, darn close. As uh, back with it comes Drivovis, 53-40. Kelly over the wing, here's Herb with it. Inside, now back outside, Herb for two, short. Rebound, let's see, who's gonna get this one? Herb, or rather, out of bounds it goes off Jen Weaver. Lucas reporting back in here to replace Weaver for UDA. As Wilbert will inbound it here for Katie Troutman. Katie coming up court with it for Halifax with Papandria guarding her. Out in front here comes to Wilbert. And Wilbert pushing it over to wing. Now into the corner here for Troutman. She'll loop it inside here for Kalman. They try to go over in the near wing over here. Ball fought for, picked up in there by Lark, who will give it back here for Drivelbis. Drivelbis with a quick pass underneath Lucas for two. It's good. Amanda Lucas off the pass from Kelly Drivelbis shoots that one right down the chute. And it's 53 42. The Tro Trojans have narrowed it to nine. 235 left here in this ball game as. This one's not over yet. Uh, you just get that feeling here, but uh, we'll see. Now, if they can stall Halifax, then, of course, that uh, puts the hurts on the Trojans as Wilbert will work it around out in front. And I'm going to call a five-second violation on Wilbert, and that's going to give UDA the ball back with 2.22 left here in the ball game, And the Trojans can get to within seven here with a bucket. But they got to do it quickly, though. Well, over for three. Get in there. Nope. Wouldn't go that time. Ball comes back out here. A two-point attempt by Drivelbis. Wouldn't go. Lucas with a rebound. Push it over the wing. Shot from the side by Lark. That wouldn't go. Rebounded in there to Kalnan, and Kalnan is getting tied up with it. But uh, reach in. Nope. Double dribble. Double dribble going to be called, and Coach O did not like that call at all, and timeout's going to be called 
by UDA now. So look out, two minutes remaining in this one and one second. 53-42, the Trojans will have the basketball underneath their own bucket here in just a moment. Okay, the Trojan timeout is, or the Halifax timeout is over. Trojans will inbound the basketball now. Trailing by nine. Here's Lark over there for her. Back out here for Lark. Near side over here for Dribobis. And Kelly right underneath with a nice pass for Lucas or for uh, Weaver for two. And the Trojans trail by seven. 44. 50. Or uh, 53 44. No, now they trail by now. Looking at the darn clock backwards, I guess. It's 53 44. Now UD trails by nine. They trailed by 11. I was. Had the wrong team on the scoreboard. Wait a minute. I'm going to ask Kelly Dribovis to move back here a little bit as they get ready to inbound the basketball. Troutman goes to take it up court, looping it over there for that Wilbert gal. Wilbert in front, picking it up, looking it down here for uh, Kerstetter, who was back into the ball game for Halifax. And then Katie Troutman's got it for Wilbert, and it's going to be tied up over there as she and Kelly Dribovis tie it up. On the tie-up, however, it will stay Halifax ball with a minute 26 now left in the game, so clock becoming a very, very big factor here for UDA. They're going to have to get the ball and shoot a couple of threes up and get right back into this one. However, Wilbert's got it, and UD will probably have to go to foul now to stop the stall, and... Well, oh, let's see. It's going to be picked up over here by Kerstetter. Back there for Katie Troutman. Katie taking it around the top of the circle. Picking it up here for Wilbert. And Wilbert looking for somebody to give it to. Has Troutman out in front. And then a foul called on Weaver. As Jen will pick up the personal foul. The team's second or third. So they got a lot of fouls to give here with 105 remaining. And... Uh, 22nd timeout called by Ababo and his Halifax uh, Wildcats. Okay, so Halifax's 22nd timeout is over. Miss Wilbert gets ready to inbound the basketball for Coach O's squad. Into the corner he goes here for Troutman. And Katie will push it back out here for Kerstetter. Kerstetter inside for Kalman. She'll look around inside, but come back out here for Kerstetter. Clock down to 54 seconds remaining in this one now as Kerstetter plays it on the baseline. Kerstetter pushing it back over here for Troutman. And Troutman will take it out in front with 43 seconds remaining in the ball game. Here's Wilbert. Has it tapped away? A near steal in there, but they're going to fire it back up here now for Kerstetter. And Kerstetter will drop it back out here, but a foul will be called on Kelly Dribovis. None shooting. Kelly will pick up her third, but that's incidental. Doesn't really matter at this stage of the game. We've got 34 seconds remaining in this one. And Halifax with the ball. So it'll be inbounded here by Wilbert for Katie Troutman, who has played a strong ball game tonight for Coach O's kids. That's for sure. Seal attempt made in air, but not successful. As Wilbert still has the ball, clocked down to 23 seconds. The ball tipped away and out of bounds by Jess uh, Herb that time. But it'll be Halifax inbounding the ball with 22 seconds left in the ball game. So obviously at this point, Halifax will go five and one. UD will pick up its second loss as uh, Papandria reaches in and picks up a foul, non-shooting, and uh, Halifax will inbound the ball. Trojans will go four and two here in the second half, but they are first half champions, so they're just getting primed up to meet somebody for the first half championship. And uh, Trojans, of course, would have liked to have won this one and been overall champions and forget that playoff for the championship stuff, but anyway, it uh, looks like Halifax remains in the race now with a 5-1 and one record here in the second half. Their only uh, blemish coming to, of all people, Millersburg. So, Halifax will wrap it around here with less than five seconds. Kelly Dribovich should win unimpeded this time for two, and she does, and that's going to do it as the game comes to an end. The final score, the Halifax Wildcats tripping up the Trojans here tonight by a score of 53 to 46 and these Wildcats can do that the only uh, thing is now Halifax uh, goes to five and one the Trojans drop back to four and two so a pretty good effort here tonight uh, at times by UD but Halifax uh, playing the ball inside to Autumn Kalnon all night and that was kind of the clincher her and uh, Wilbert shooting those four threes from outside 
really uh, kind of destroyed UD and uh, gave the Halifax Wildcats a seven point victory. The Wildcats had led by as many as 11 at one point, but the Trojans did come back one time from about an eight or nine point deficit to get to within two or perhaps tie it, I'm not sure. But at any rate, in the final outcome, it's Halifax by seven, 53, 46. So we'll see the Trojans uh, somewhere next time out. And uh, in the meantime, we congratulate Coach O's Halifax Wildcats on an outstanding effort here tonight on their own home turf. So we'll see you later and uh, pick it up again here the next time. I think uh, Trojans, I'm not sure who they have coming up here, but we'll find out later. See you later.